long march. Yeah. Anything else? Richard. Did tell us anything about them at all? Um, the bloke on the left is really haunched up. With yeah. A big pack on his back. What's the, what do you reckon the guy second to the left has got? It looks like a rifle. Yeah. Sorry, Ben? Could be what? A pair of skis? A pair of skis. Yeah, okay, but it is... Historical evidence is open to more than one interpretation, as John Wickham points out in his final pep talk. ...answer on that question. The whole point about GCSE is it's not a right and wrong answer type game. You can almost put different points of view down and get the same number of marks, the same maximum number of marks. The point is to express yourself as well as you can, and you'll get credit for whatever you put down. You've all worked hard on this course. Yeah, all of you. So you want to make sure that you get the credit for it at the end. It's May the 11th. The main exams are only a week away, and year 11 gather in assembly for the last time. This is the very last occasion on which you came to school this morning because you had to. You will be coming in for your examinations, but otherwise it's going to be the very last time that you came to school because the law of the land says that you have to come to school. Well, the last day of school, we had massive assembly. All the teachers stood up on stage and they just gave us their bit of advice. Please don't hesitate to give my name as you have been giving as a referee when you're doing job applications. The last day, I think, was just a big relief for everyone. We were all just mucking around. <laughs> everyone felt really happy. And Mr Jones helped that along in assembly when he told us a load of jokes about what people had written in exams, which made us feel a bit more relaxed about the exams, I think. The inhabitants of ancient Egypt were called mummies. <laughs> they lived in the Sahara Desert and traveled by Camelot. Beethoven wrote music even though he was deaf. <laughs> he was so deaf he wrote loud music. <laughs> when you think about it, it's really funny because you wait five years and you say, oh, I can't wait to leave school. And then on the last day, you think to yourself, oh, I really miss it. You miss your friends and the teachers that you get on with. <laughs> Without the Greeks, we wouldn't have history. They also had myths. A myth is a female moth. <laughs> Before departing for study leave, there is food and drink and a chance to say goodbye to each other. Everybody has mixed feelings. This is my last day of school, and it feels much better than the first day of school. I've been waiting for five years to leave, but I do feel quite sad now. Everyone's just, you know, everyone's together here. Yeah, I can't wait to get out. It's been five years, whatever, now. Can't wait to walk down that street. I've got mixed feelings about leaving. I feel sad to leave some of my friends behind, but I'm really looking forward to going on to college in September. There's a small matter of exams to worry about. When they're finished, I'll finally be free and I'll be pretty happy. following week, the exam desks are brought out of storage. The school hall is transformed. For some, revision is now well underway. Few people find it easy. Different people work best in different places. It's important to choose the place that's right for you. Working at a table is how you will work in the exam. But it's very hard to concentrate in front of the television. Be honest with yourself. Do revision and television really go together? Oh 
I'm terribly organised. I'm not one of those people who has file of facts and writes everything down. Every, all my work's usually scattered about the place and I try hard to organise it, but I find it difficult. Usually everything comes together at the end, but until then, it's just a mad rush. I don't particularly believe in revising for a lot of the time before the exam because you just forget it. So a couple of nights before and um, I'll cram it all in and hopefully things will work out well. I revise at home in the dining room because it's the quietest room in the house because not many people go in there. I time my essays for history because we have got such a short time in the exam and a lot to put down. Writing a timed essay is a good check on what you've learnt. Getting a friend to test you can also help. Oh, hello. Hello, hello. Yeah, did Mum let you in? Some of my revision was with my friends and we'd just sit around and try and revise together. But when you're with your friends, sometimes like to discipline yourself to do your work is not the easiest thing to do. There are 46 chromosomes and they are paired into 23. I didn't really do that much work, kind of pairs. But we did an hour's revision and watched three hours TV or something. And we did actually make a bit of an effort. What happens to a person who has haemophilia? Um, uh, I don't know. Sometimes when I'm revising, I just get so bored, you know. I think you can only take a certain amount in, and once you've done that, then, you know, I just get very easily distracted. Go and make some tea, you know, watch television. Because I, I can't keep my concentration for long. Hello? Hello, Graham, how are you? Yeah, I'm not so bad myself. I'm getting a bit depressed about this revision, though. After the country tonight, quite cold. Golf? Yeah, that'd be great. Remember that having breaks is an important part. <laughs> <laughs> Getting fresh air can help, while indoors you could try some relaxation exercises. Okay, then. Right, screw your eyes up tightly. Right, feel the tension spreading over the whole of your face. Better. All right, tense the muscles around your mouth by smiling in an exaggerated way. All right, now let the smile fade and you should feel your muscles relax. Do you feel that? Yeah, a bit. You really look stupid. <laughs> Dan, 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 oh, yes! An amazing shot. Uh, the most worrying part of the exams is the night before. At night, your, your brain has got time to wander and then you start thinking about all the possibilities that can go wrong. Like if you're going to fail or if you don't understand the questions or if you haven't revised the right things. We expect great things of you. Things of you. I'm sure your parents will be very proud very of you. Proud. Nine o'clock. You may begin. You you've got no hope, whatever, whatever, doing anything, doing anything. You get your coursework you in, course in, in properly. No one properly. wants to be a failure. No one wants to be a failure. No one wants to be a failure. I don't know what's going to happen. Look, it's not that bad if we if we fail. We can do it again at Woodhouse. I don't want to spend another year of my life doing maths. 
When I arrive at school, everybody's waiting around outside the door, trying to remember little things, going over things, it's last minute preparation. But when I get to school, I talk to my friends and then they say, have you revised this? And then I realize I haven't. So then I'm begging them to tell me what the formula is and everything. Then I'm even more nervous. Some people are trying to go over things that they've been trying to revise. Other people are all, oh, I don't care. Oh, it's only an exam. I'll be all right. Other people are just sort of sitting there looking very pale. <laughs>